Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is model with linear systems, so we're going to be doing all sorts of things. Don't forget uh, uh, with linear systems and inequalities and stuff, so uh, don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. If we go to that side, I do this, I'm trying to do this every now and then. Um, uh, across the top you'll see all the classes that I teach and so there's lots of them but but this class is integrated math one so if you go to integrated math one it'll take you to and sorry my screen is on a smaller screen right now so I can do this video a little bit better but if you go down to um, uh, you'll find it down here this lesson will go down right there okay alright so let's go ahead and get started and hey if you guys can would you guys um, uh, click like and or dislike or just make a comment or something it just kind of helps encourage me all right let's get going here so this lesson uh, we're going to be using equations or inequalities and and just make sure when we're doing these that we use the same two variables because we're going to have two equations or two inequalities and we just want to make sure that we have the same two variables so here's an example Joe goes to the store and buys jeans and some t-shirts. The jeans cost $40 each and the t-shirts cost $20 each. Joe spends a total of $160 on five items. So how many pairs of jeans and how many pairs of t-shirts did he buy? Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is just let X be the number of pairs of jeans and Y be the number of t-shirts that we're going to buy right here. And so, so the total amount of money spent can be represented by, well, here I highlighted it right here. Each pair of jeans cost $40, so we bought X pairs, so it's going to be 40X. And each t-shirt is $20, so that's going to be with 20Y right there. And it's going to equal the $160, the $160 right there. Okay, and then the total number of items purchased, well, remember, we have X amount of jeans and we have Y amount of t-shirts. And that's going to give us that five uh, total items right there. So that's going to give us X plus Y equals 5. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and solve the system right there. 40X plus 20Y equals 160 and x plus y equals 5. Okay, I think it's easiest to, to go ahead and multiply the, the bottom equation by, I don't think I need that there, um, by negative 20. That way we get it, it'll cancel out with this positive 20y right there. But we got to multiply everything by 20, so that's what this is right here. 5 times negative 20 is negative 100 right there. Okay, and then the, the 20s will cancel, and we're at 40 plus a negative 20 is 20x, and then this equals 60. So x equals 3, and then right here, this is the easiest equation, x plus y equals 5, so we get y equals 2. So let's answer the question. So Joe bought uh, three pairs of jeans and two t-shirts. All right, let's try another one. This one's just like it, you guys. Robbie will buy coffee and hot chocolate for his co-workers. Each cup of coffee is $2.25 and each um, cup of hot chocolate is $1.50. If he pays a total of $15.75 for eight cups, how many how many of each did he buy? Okay, so can can I, can, I think we're using um, uh, C and, and H, I think, you guys, for uh, coffee and hot chocolate. So can I convince you that C plus eight, H equals the 8 right there, and then uh, 225 times C plus $1.50 times um, uh, H is going to give us that 1575. So they give us this table right here, and it kind of helps us organize the information. So that's going to give us this system of equations right here. And then we'll take this top equation and multiply it by, this one's a smaller number. I like dealing with smaller numbers, so by negative um, 1.5 or $1.50, okay? So when we do that, here it is down here, and then these guys are going to cancel when we add these together. So over here we get uh, 75 cents uh, equals 375. So when we divide 375 by 75, we get 5. Okay, so C plus H equals 8. So 5 plus uh, 8 uh, uh, equals 8. So uh, 5 plus 3 equals 8. I'm sorry, you know, you get what I mean. So 5 plus H. <laughs> or uh, anyway, C equals 3. You get what I'm talking about right there. A little tongue twister right there. So answer the question. Uh, Robbie bought five cups of coffee and, and uh, three cups of hot chocolate right there. Okay. All right, let's try another one. This one's just like that, you guys. A student is buying pens and markers for school. Uh, so let's see. The packs of pens cost $2.75 each and the packs of markers cost $3.25 each. Okay, so if she bought a total of uh, six packs... And spent 1750. How many of each did she buy? Okay, so they give us a table to start filling in right here. 
So P is going to be the number of packs of pins, and M is going to be the number of packs of markers right there. So P plus M is going to equal 6 right there. Okay, and then we put the money in right here. So the cost is going to be for the pins is 275. So 275 P. This one's going to be 325 M. And then so that's going to give us this groovy system of equations. Okay, I like smaller numbers. So I'm going to multiply the top one by a negative 2.75. So when we do that, we get that red guy down below. And then when we add them together, we finally get M equals 2. Don't forget they add up to be 6. So we get P equals equals 4 right there okay and then uh, so the student bought four packs of pins and two packs of markers all right let's try another one here all right sue is buying t-shirts and shorts t-shirts cost $14 and shorts cost $21 she pants she plans on spending no more than $147 and buys at least five items Show and describe all combinations of the number of t-shirts and shorts. So here we're going to be, these are going to be inequalities, you guys. So she plans to spend no more than 147. So she can't go over. So this is going to be less than or equal to. And she's going to buy at least five items. So that's going to be greater than or equal to. So let's write uh, a system of equations. Let X be the t-shirts and let Y be the shorts right there. Okay, so there's uh, uh, how many items we're going to buy. At least five, so greater than or equal to x plus y uh, greater than or equal to 5 and then no more than less than or equal to 147 all right so it says um, uh, show and describe all combinations of the t-shirts and shorts so we're going to go ahead and graph that system right there okay so there it is right there and so let's do it one at a time so x plus y gives the intercepts 5 and 5 right there and then since it's greater than we're going to shade above the line so it's going to be over here okay there it is right there and then here this one's going to give the intercepts 14 goes in 147 10 and a half times and 21 goes in there seven times so I get these intercepts and this one is less than or equal to so it's going to be below the blue line right there okay so then we're going to we want just the intersection of the two so our solutions are going to be uh, in the middle of those two okay so the only possible solutions are where those graphs overlap so these are just some examples right here you guys um, 6 1 one, five, two, eight, one. Heck, I can even do this one right here. Two comma four. So that would be two t-shirts and then four shorts right there. And so here, uh, six one represents six t-shirts and one pair of shorts. So any number that's inside of here, including these lines, if it lied right on this line, like at four one. Okay. So any of those. Let's try one more of those, and we'll be done. All right. John ha uh, has to buy two different kinds of rope. Rope A costs sixty cents per foot, and rope B is ninety cents a foot. John needs to buy at least fifteen feet of rope, but he wants to spend no more than 18 bucks. So same thing, show and describe all combinations of numbers of feet of each type of rope John can buy. Okay, so we're going to let X be rope A and Y be the feet of rope B right here. Okay, so here we go. So uh, no more than uh, 18 is going to be less than or equal to right there. And it has to be, he's buying at least 15 feet of rope. So that's greater than or equal to. So the feet of A, the feet of B, greater than or equal to 15. And then here's the money right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph that system right there. Okay, so uh, X plus Y uh, equals 15 gives 15 and 15 right there. And this one's greater than or equal to. So it's just like the last one, you guys. We're going to shade above it. And then this one gives uh, the intercepts of x equals 30 and y equals 20. And that one's less than or equal to. So we're going to shade below it. And then our answer is going to be any point that lies inside of that uh, double shaded region right there. So there's just a couple of examples. 4, 14, 16, 2. So 4, 14 means 4 feet of rope A and 14 feet of rope B. Okay, or 16 feet of rope A and 2 feet of rope B, or anything that lies in this double shaded region, including any point that lies on that line right there. And so we can have fraction feet right there, 16, 16 points, say, 1 right there, and it would be like, you know, 0.2 feet or something like that of rope B, something like that. All right, if you guys are in my class, I would assign you guys that homework. Take care.